Hey guys, welcome back. This time we're going to be taking a look at something a little bit different. This is a project that I backed on Kickstarter, gosh, almost two years ago now. And it was wrought with problems from the beginning all the way through. And things kept getting delayed. There were problems with production. And eventually it did deliver, though, albeit years later. And um, it was from a company that you might be familiar with, Gravity Dice, who makes some amazing metal machined dice you see them at conventions and things. So they had a good history and a background in, in already doing this. So these were supposed to be um, acrylic machined dice, precision machined with cut corners and things. They, the pictures, I'll throw a picture up here, of what they were supposed to be. And then um, when production came out, we started seeing images like this. And then they decided to recall everything, start over from scratch. They went to a new manufacturer. There was problems there and just one problem after another. The rest of the project isn't only dice, but it came with these bolts, which I'll get to. It's still in the package here. And um, they had issues with wiring and things, but eventually we did get our stuff. I'm going to take a look at it and give you my honest thoughts on how it turned out in the end after everything. So first thing, as I kind of add on to help people out, they gave us a, I think it's a 10% or $10 off coupon on a future purchase from their store. A lot of people are very disappointed and very unhappy with this. I don't think most of the backers are going to be using those. I don't know if you're going to be shopping there again. As I said, their metal machine dice are amazing. If you've ever seen those at conventions, they're definitely worth looking into. These acrylic dice, not so much. They gave each of us a bumper sticker as well, and I don't know if you can tell on camera. Yeah, you can still see it, kind of. It was literally folded in half. You can see a crease on there to fit in the packaging. And I managed to flatten it out, but I don't know if I'm ever going to use it. It might be on a shelf in my game room if I keep it at all. But they gave us those. They also gave us a D20 keychain, sorry for the crinkling, which was made out of, I think, the first production run. And not sure if I can get this on camera, but you can see these were supposed to be acrylic machined dice, and they ended up being injection molded to start with. And you can see right there is a mold line from where they pulled it out of the mold, didn't cut it off, didn't sand it off at all. And... They were supposed to be some super hard acrylic that didn't scratch, and I don't know, like I said, the camera doesn't really pick this stuff up. But this one doesn't seem too bad. I know in some of my other ones I can point out there's definite cracks in the dice. This one has these little seams, which mine are nowhere near as bad as some other people's were, but you can see the seam along here kind of needs to be buffed off. Luckily, this one's a keychain. I'm not going to be rolling it. That was a nice little extra to throw in there. Onto the actual dice set, which is pretty much what I paid for out of this. And I am disappointed with it. They, they came with this nice sleeve. I'll give them credit for that. A little silk sleeve. And then your plastic tube is definitely harder and thicker than most. Usually these are pretty cheap and you end up throwing away. This thing's actually pretty durable and sturdy. I can even get the cap off. Yeah, it's pretty, I don't know if you can see there, it's pretty thick stuff. Much stronger than I was expecting. So on to the actual dice themselves. Overall, I gotta say, I was not impressed with them. They are better quality than a lot of the people on the Kickstarter were complaining about. Now, I've seen some god-awful pictures. I put one in the video already. Those were like worst-case scenarios. These are definitely an improvement over those. But at the same time, they're not up to par with what I was expecting. And I don't know if you can see... Yeah, you can probably see it on the tube. This is all covered in greasy oil from the release agent from the molds. They didn't even clean the dice off before they put them in the tube. So the tube is covered in it. The dice are still covered in it. You can like literally wipe them off. I haven't done much with them, but they're very greasy to the touch. My fingers are all oily now. You can see them shining just from touching them. But um, the edging, I mean, they have these crisp corners like they were supposed to. But again... I can't really get it on camera because of the way the light is in here. But they have these seams along the edge which kind of stick up. Nowhere near as bad as some of the horror story ones I've seen online. 
it's definitely noticeable and you can see it really bad right there and not up to par with what I would expect from quality precision dice if I had to say I would rate these below like a standard Chessex oh my fingers feel disgusting now very oily they did go through and put these little paw prints on there to designate the six from the nine which are kind of nice because they had no line under them like most fonts do and again you can see seams there around the 20 definitely on the side of the eight there and you can see some scratching again that's not picking up on camera too well but let's see if i can find one that's really bad to point out because one of the points was this was supposed to be a hard acrylic that was not prone to cracking or scratching and it just doesn't want to show up on camera you can kind of see it above the seven there in person there's a real deep gouge right there that kind of goes around you can see it above the nine there it goes around the top of the dice it looks like somebody took a knife and just scraped it and it's kind of a crack or a gouge in the in the plastic itself there you can see it really bad there on the five of course the oil on there but as I'm talking about, these were supposed to be precision machined, and that is not precision as far as I'm concerned. I am impressed they did come out better than I expected because of the horror stories I heard from people online. At the same time, the price I paid for these compared to comparable dice from other companies is just not even close to the quality I've got. I would have gone to the store and just bought a general cube of um, Chessex dice for way less and I think they're honestly better quality. But again, it's not as bad as some of the people made it out to be. Maybe I got a good batch, but that I was kind of disappointed in. That part aside, the other thing that I actually was really interested in this campaign was the dice tube the dragon bolt I think they call them and they have a little loop here at the top where you can put like a keychain type you know a hanger of some sort they didn't put anything on there I don't know if mine was supposed to have that or not uh, the other downside is they do not come with the micro USB charging cable which those things are like a dime a dozen I'm not sure why they didn't include one but um, these did go through a couple renditions, and the original ones, I guess, had all sorts of electrical problems. I'm pl pleased to say that mine works way bright on the uh, camera here, but there's a bunch of different color options. Yeah, the downside is you can tell which LEDs are on because some of the brighter ones bleed through the side, but that's acceptable. The colors are very nice. There's even a yeah, one where it cycles through colors. I think there's one where it fades in and out of different colors, which is kind of cool. And that was one of the main selling points of this campaign for me. So I'm happy that mine works. It came charged even. I didn't have to charge it up to test. Definitely happy with the way those worked. Now the lid here screws on, which takes some getting used to. I tried pulling it off the first couple times. And uh, it seems pretty solid. The threads are nice. You get it on. It's not going to pop open on you, which I like about the thread. Inside, I'm a little disappointed that the center tube does not stay in. It's actually loose. And I think it was to leave room for the lights at the bottom and things. But the fact that it's a separate piece, it comes out every time you go to dump the dice out. It's really annoying. I guess you could look at the positive that if it gets scratched up on the inside from taking your dice in and out, you can eventually replace it. But I really thought it was going to be connected. And then down in there, this is going to blind the camera, but you can see the LEDs. Definitely a cool pattern the way they did those. And um, the real showcase here is that you're supposed to have your dice in here. And these, hard to see, they're super, super dark too. These are supposed to be translucent, in which they are if you hold them right up to something. But you get all your dice in there, put the cap on so you don't dump it. And then you turn this on, and the idea was that you could see the dice in there, where the light would go through them, but they're so dark that it really doesn't show up, and you can barely see them, if I can get it on camera here. You, you can see them in there, just, I, I was expecting them to be much more translucent, and allow a lot more light through. 
as it is, the light bleeding out the, the corners here tends to blind so you can't even see the, the dice in there. But overall, I am impressed with the vault itself and how it came out. I think the one, yeah, like the red is super, super dark. I don't know if I'm missing LEDs in the red. But that one, like, barely lights up at all. Certain angles, you can't even tell it's on. As opposed to, you know, the brighter colors. Not sure if that's a mistake either, but overall, I was impressed with the vault itself. The craftsmanship's nice. I love the detail and the dragon. They did a very excellent job cutting these out. There's no flash on it or anything. There's a little seam here, but it actually goes all the way around the dragon. You can see it through there. So I think it's actually intentional. Gives it some 3D texture. And of course the Gravity Dice logo there. So overall, if you're looking for a set of dice, I would stay clear of these acrylic ones from Gravity Dice. While mine weren't as bad as some, I've heard some awful horror stories, and they're just not up to par with the quality you'd expect from a company like Gravity Dice or for the price point. If you're looking for metal dice, the Gravity Dice are one of the best ones I've still seen, and um, they're worth looking into for that. The acrylic, though, I would steer clear of. The Dragon Bolts do seem to be fixed. I didn't see any major issues with mine other than the dim red light and a little bit of bleed through. Maybe if they put like a dark plastic ring around the bottom or something to muffle the light coming through. And then that center tube not being attached, which isn't a big thing. It's also worth noting the tube that the general dice come in, because it has a plug on the bottom side, is not the same size as the tube inside of the bolt. So you can't just drop this in, which is what I thought you could do. They are different, so keep that in mind. But the vault themselves are actually pretty cool, and that might end up on my shelf as a display piece. The dice themselves, I doubt I'm ever actually going to use. If anything, they'll stay in there as a display, but I might buy some more translucent ones to show off the lighting better and might even ditch those entirely disappointed in the dice very happy with the bolt so if you're looking for something cool to display off your dice or to show off at your game night the vaults are awesome and well worth the cost i think just don't bother with the acrylic dice that go with them Anyway, that's going to wrap it up for our look at the uh, Dragon Forged LED Vault, I think they called it, from Gravity Dice. It's up to you. You can decide whether it's worth the, um, the money or not. But like I said, the vault's cool. The dice, not so much. Stick to the metal ones or look for dice elsewhere. Anyway, as always, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.